but what? it's been a tradition for Nigerians, more especially when you reach a season like this, there will be a fire scarcity. Uh, for my own, I would say it's the, the marketers of most their food. Because I don't really know what called the fire scarcity. Uh, secondly, for who to get the food, it's not an easy thing. I've been here since morning. I've been here since morning. We bus drivers, before we get to fuel, like yesterday, I said, oh, I didn't, I didn't get fuel. I have to buy the black market. And I can't get anything from the black market. That's why you see me came here again this morning. And it's not easy, you know, people have been queuing for a longer time. As you can see, uh, are, my friend came up here this morning by 4 o'clock and I uh, was able to get food by 9 o'clock. As you can see, the hour that is fair queue to get food. I've been here for like 30 minutes now, and uh, there's no sign that I'll get the food in the next uh, hour. So it's quite it's really really stressful like you have to come here every day join a long queue and stay for hours for you to get fuel and you, you fill up your tank and you use it for a day or two and you repeat the process so it's really really stressful sometimes you have to be here and you're standing under the sun you know just to get fuel i wonder why we have to go through all this stress. I honestly don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's the fuel subsidy, uh, fuel subsidy trying to remove or not remove the fuel subsidy. I don't know if that's the issue why we're having this um, fuel scarcity. In fact, as you can see, I've been here for over, for over an hour plus. And the line is not even because. The people who are able to buy new kegs are much more than people who are using cars. So what's happening is that see, the black marketers are the ones even running this thing that we cannot even buy for them. But eventually, I hope you get to buy because you're even, some of us are already red, you know. I think the coordinators, I mean, Managers who manage well stations, that we share it. Maybe give a pump to you because most people have generators too. So, was buying cats, you know. So, you just make a pump for them. So that they can allow the other people to know you know, about their businesses. Other than that, right now the fuel is even, so some people sell for two. Ten, two six, two seven as the case may be as they buy, you know. So I don't know why. I really don't understand this case. I think it's to me it's artificial, you know, because they've increased the price. Now, so I don't know why it's scarce. Uh, it will be easier. Well, if right, if you get money, so we'll go grab money so that you will know how to get that one. Okay, where you want to How you want to do and get for it? So our our Niger. You don't swear on that matter. Our government. I can't be able to say that now nah, then they swear that oh now nah, we you know this matter. I only gonna know how the thing will be now. Uh, to get free and stress leave is not easy because I have went to almost uh, four different police stations. I don't get fuel and I'm here since morning. So to get fuel and stress leave in this Lagos, more especially this uh, island side, is not easy because people are suffering enough. 
and to get a very special house. You have seen me, I'm sweating since morning. This rain, rain beats me, sun is too much, especially to get food is not easy. Uh, the thing that causes this food is scarcity in this Nigeria because uh, almost each and almost every month or every year, when December is leading like this, scarcity is of fuel is everywhere in Nigeria. That is the cause of this scarcity fuel in Nigeria. And more especially, if we still look up about this uh, forthcoming election that is coming, that fuel is going scarcity everywhere in Nigeria. Actually, it's not so easy and it's not easy at all to get fuel because uh, it, sometimes it takes the whole day. For one to get get fuel, uh, if you are so much in a hurry, uh, probably uh, black market will serve. But for how long can one depend on black market? So it take a whole day. At times, it might not even get. You have to come and queue again for the following day. So it's not so easy at all. Me as a person, I don't know because of the first scarcity. Only that uh, what I can uh, have said is this. For over a, over a month now, you'll be seeing a kind of uh, uh, scanty fuel uh, line, and most fuel stations are, are not selling at normal price. Uh -huh. Some sell at 200, some sell at, uh, at one, one, 190. And even as it is, now, even those ones that sell at 190, had it been that they are selling, I would be able to go and buy at, at high price without joining queue. But uh, you see, they are not selling, it's only few free stations that are selling at the moment. And uh, that really uh, creates a whole lot of uh, a, a queue. So as per what caused the first scarcity, I don't know. Yesterday, no days you can see now. No day, I will be now. People want to enter here, they bribe those guys. You know, they collect money, they allow them to enter inside. So look at you, they stand here now. No way. As I mean, they stand here now. I don't even soak my boot. So you know this, they are all. You know this. When you go enter there, you know this. All of them are like, they just say, go to each other. Fight yourself. You understand? Like all those kind of things. You know this is now.